And our generation, Rabotai, Lelo Safek, with no doubt, we're in the middle of a major battle. A huge culture war is happening as we speak. And nothing chas to shalom is an accident. There's a reason why Hashem chose us to be alive in such a generation. If Hashem, He could have chose the Rambam to be living right now. He could have chose Rashi. He could have chose the Ben Yishchai. He chose us, every single one of us over here, to fight this battle. That means we're capable of winning the culture war. What is the culture war? Very simple. Either you're pro-God or you're against God. It doesn't get more obvious than right now. Either you're for Hashem or you're against Hashem. Either you're for, the, either you're for the doing the right thing or you're for doing the lazy stuff and taking the easy way out. The culture is clear and you have to choose which team you're on. But Hashem chose us to fight for His name in this generation. Thursday, I got a call from a mother who sends her kid to a public school in the Jersey area. She doesn't want him there, but he's there. She calls him, she's like, Rabbi, I need you to come meet my son. What happened? This past year, the Bethes of New Year, so this past year in high school, he got suspended, an Israeli kid. He got suspended. Suspended for what? For calling a guy by his real name, even though he claims he's a girl. That's what happened. He called him by his name was Charlie. He said, Charlie, hey, Charlie. The principal said, that's bullying, bullying, out of the school, suspended. And that ruins your diploma, that ruins your future in college. It's very damaging. She went crazy. She said, I can't believe this. Even I, who thought public school was not that bad, now I realize how bad all this culture stuff is, all these bad universities and colleges. And of course, you should get your degree. But be aware, when you're sitting in college, know that your enemies are all over you, who are trying to influence you not to follow Hashem. Then I thought to myself, after that phone call, we know the Chachamim always tell us, in every ra, in every bad, quote-unquote, there's always good. Our avoida. Our job is to look for the good in the bad, for look for the tov in the ra. So for years, and I'm sure my uh, Chachamim friends over here can testify, I get very frustrated at what's going on in the world with the culture, with the Democrats and liberals. I can go crazy from their mindset, crazy. And I always thought, is there any good in such people? I don't see it. I don't see any good in such people. I don't even know why they're around. Why is Hashem putting them here? Such people with such bad ideas and weird ideas. But this Thursday, I thought to myself, Ah! Now I have pshat. How there's good in every bad. Right now, these liberals took over all the schools in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut. They took over all the public schools, all the colleges, all the universities. All these weird, weird-minded people took over the culture. So even parents who until now sent their kids to public school, Hopefully, for now on, we'll start waking up. Wait a minute. Let me take my kid out of public school. Just like they told us in the last generation, anti-Semitism is very bad. But there was one plus to anti-Semitism. That is, you know how to separate yourself from a guy from the Gentiles of the world. When a guy tells you you're not part of us, the Jew stays away. When the Jew stays away, he stays Jewish. There was a little bit of a plus to anti-Semitism. It's wrong and evil. It should never be around. But there is the tov in the ra. So too with all these liberals across the country. Where is the tov? Where is the good? You know what the good is? Ha ha. Now everyone's going to leave public school. Because no one wants their child in a school where you get kicked out because you called a boy by his first name. And that's right now. Let's see what happens in five years from now. Which parent will send their crown jewels of life, their children to such a school into, on the responsibility of such evil, weird, nasty people. No one will do such a thing like that. So that's the tov in the ra. At least there's some good in the liberals. How do you like that, huh? Yes? We should tell it to Trump, no? I'm joking.